hello everyone today in this video we are going to finishing up so when we are creating a new category let's create so it's going to <clears throat> uh, we can click on it multiple times so if i click on uh, save this data oops let me get refresh uh, let me get refresh and then when i'm going to save this data. so let's take eye on this there is 11 entries so if i go here and now fill this data with test and this category okay and if i click on it twice or thrice time right so okay okay so it means that it's saving the data multiple times so we don't want to save this multiple times so how to get rid of this one so it's uh, still uh, saving this data and after this it will reload this data table oh my god it's processing and it's still processing why it's stuck in the processing let me view it in the console there is no error okay now it's updated there is 20 entries right it's automatically updated and there is second button is also available so you can instantly switch into the uh, switch on the second page but how we can prevent this action so this is the save button when we are clicking on this save changes button right save changes button so it's uh, this one so this id is this save btn so we want to prevent it we want to make this disable so here we are clicking on save button and when we click on this save button we want to make this disable right let me indicate it so here i'm going to add this uh, a button of save btn id save btn dot to here i'm going to add to attribute and then attribute to disabled oops disabled and then i'm going to make this true right so here i'm going to uh, save this so uh, one and then if in the success method i need to add this here why oops I need to add this here what the hell is this what it's going to do it's going to copy the empty space right so if I let me tell you that it's going to work and then what I'm going to next so if I go here give it a refresh and then let me check and tell you that there is 20 entries so if I go here add bet of the day select a category and i'm clicking on it again and it's disabled instantly disabled and if i click on it again so this is disabled so after this successful completion we are going to disable this right so we are also going to make this in the error function why because let me tell you that why i'm doing this in the error function and success function if i go here and click on this save category so it's disabled so whenever user filled up again so it's not going to submit this button that's why we are doing this in the success and we are going to make this uh, in the error function okay so the id would be the save btn so this would be an id save btn btn and uh, here we are also going to add uh, attribute and what attribute we are going to add the disabled and in this case we are going to make this false because we want to make the button enabled right we are going to remove the disabled functionality from the button so here we got the error so we are going to make this enabled again right so first we are disabling it and when it got success or any error so it's going to enable it again save disabled and yes enabled again saved oops uh, saved disabled right and if i click on again it's again now so one more thing we can also add the saving here when we click on button so here i'm going to let me go to the top you can play around this many things for your user experience so here i'm going to add this so uh, whenever i'm going to call this save btn save btn dot html and here i'm going to add this saving dot 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 right and after completion of this i want to also make this again uh, save category right so 
So I need to make this again save category make this correct save category again right so I also made this so in the error function also so in the jQuery if you don't put this semicolon so this is does not matter I'm following this convention because I if sometimes I forgot this in the Laravel that I'm following this okay save and yes it's saving and uh, click on this saving and return again back so it's now very uh, better experience for users because it's still in the processing and users know the states so you can also add here a loader whenever you click on this save btn so you can execute the loader and when this will be uh, ajax will be uh, got in the success function so you can remove this stuff right so we are also going to do one more thing what is the thing so let me uh let me go there let me find what i'm going to cover this uh, so here there is a you can also search this uh, from any of your uh, any of your columns so make sure that we made them made them edit and delete made them orderable and searchable fall so that's why this is uh, we can't ascend or descend them great okay so i remember one more thing <coughs> no sorry i want to tell you that how you can so let me uh, remind this oh so now it is playing again uh, error right if i click on submit i close this out right close this out and if i go back so it is playing the error so how we can remove this so uh, you can get the event of uh, model close jquery model close event right so you can type model close so when this model will be closed it's this event when model is closed this will be executed so you can perform your operation when you are closing this model so here I'm going to win my model. So my model name is uh, Ajax model. So let me make sure that I'm referencing the right model. Ajax model. Yes, I'm right. Ajax model. When this model is closed, I want to make the. Oops, I want to make the no, error messages class which we added this in the span hope you are remember so i want to make this so uh, html empty right so let's uh, get refresh wait for a moment to complete this so if i go here click on this add category there is error so if i click uh, outside or click this close click on again so it's still executing this why close this out go back now it's not uh, clearing these messages so error messages lit oh i forgot to add the class here so that's why it's not working mm -hmm. now it's going to work like a charm okay i add this click on this oops uh, save category close this out click on this add category and it's still populating them so let me open the console and if there is any error uh, no there is no error and it says oh unprocessable error messages so let me verify this class is correct error messages error messages and uh, whenever our ajax model is closing we is hidden so let me perform an event that check that our event is working or not closed you can say that it would be a closed so hard oh it's going bigger again <laughs> as usual in this series most of the time I shoot only five to uh, six or seven minute video but this video is going bigger so if I click on this uh, uh, let me open this here I click on this close so it's not uh, uh, working on this close right so it means that this uh, uh, HX model is model event is not working so 
so let's go here and check that how to handle this closing event okay 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 here model vs model do something vs model nothing it's good okay you can also add the document and then on dot i dot like this so i'm going to add document dot on dot and here i'm going to add this uh, ajax uh, model right and then i'm going to do this so let's go here I open the model if I close it's not going to execute this event hmm. let me hide this tooltip why I'm doing this again and again <laughs> okay let's click on this close and this solution is not working for us we can do this uh, one more whenever we, I'm clicking on it so I want to make this uh, error gone so whenever I'm clicking on it oops why my text editor is slowed down weird stuff okay uh, let me do this so like when I'm clicking on this so I want to make the errors empty right like this so let's add this here let's get refresh sometimes some solutions are not working so yeah that's why we are going to prefer another one oops and yes close this out click on it again and yes now our values are disappeared just mean that we are successfully able to do this stuff so now we can add some category right I'm going to add myself in the category save category and yes it's instantly saved so you can update any category and you can also delete any type of category so update this category and yes it's updated and uh, your values are also updated here you can also delete this category it's will keep on and one more thing i remember that uh, i want to add this when i'm clicking on this uh, dell so i want to first make sure that user is want to delete or not so how we can do this so let's go here so before this executing the call in the del button so we need to perform if there is a confirm proper confirm method in the jquery and then we are going to make this uh, workable so if this is confirm then we are going to execute this execute this so ajax call so confirm so we need to perform the in the confirm we need to perform are you are you sure want to delete it okay let's get refresh and check that what it's going to return let's click on this and yes it's now highlighting that if you are you sure want to delete if i click on the cancel it's not going to delete the categories so if i click on it again okay so it's now it's going to delete the this category and yes 17 is deleted that's great we implemented it uh, like as we want so you can also add uh, a very pop -up, a very uh, pretty popular uh, pretty pop-up here so it's totally upon you so hope you like this full series and uh, i did not cut out any of the steps because i believe that people learn a lot from the mistakes and example so hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and uh, also suggest your uh, suggest your thoughts that how you like this video uh, series what uh, should i need to improve this in the series so please comment it below then i will uh, reshoot another video by following this uh, by following your comment so i will meet you in the next one take care bye bye